I'm Eric Perkins. You're watching the Perkins Builder Brothers channel. Today we're going to be assembling some walls and I wanted to show you a little bit more about the spacing and the placement of the nails in these wall assemblies. Let's talk about these guys. They are three inch or three and a quarter inch, but they are not 16D. They are not as thick as your old hand drive framers. So you have to put more of them by code actually. All right, let's head over here and I'll show you. Right here, fastening a stud to a plate. One, two, three of these three inch nails or three and a quarter inch nails. Okay, let's get really technical because this really matters. These nails I'm shooting here are three inch times 0 0.131, that's about 13 hundredths of an inch thick. That's what I'm using for the framing. Let's look in the code book. Three inch times 0 0.131, three per stud. Now, look at your nail box because they sell these as well. The three inch or three and a quarter times 0 0.120, that's about 12 hundredths of an inch. You'd actually need four of those per end per stud. So make sure you check out how thick your nails are because it does matter. All right, here's a really important safety tip if you're using nail guns to assemble these walls. Never hold the stud right here. Let me show you why. If you fire a nail in right here and it hooks out the side, it's gonna go right through your hand. And I've seen this happen. It really hurts, okay? So let's look at this. That's how long the nail is. That means you need to hold the stud this far back at least so you don't hit your hand if this thing hooks out the side. Hey, Daryl, what did I tell you the first day on the job? Don't shoot yourself, kid, and move your hand back. Next situation, you have to fasten one stud to another stud or a jack to a stud. Every 16 inches, I'll put two of these nails. All right, next one is a little trickier, the toenail. I know how to do this because my dad came behind me for years and redid every toenail that I ever did. So then I learned how to do it right so he wouldn't have to correct me. So if you need the toenail into some framing, here's what I like to do. Start about one inch from your other framing member up like this. Give it a tap so that the tip goes in, turn it to about a 50 or 55 degree angle, and then take it on in. All right, I've seen people start a toenail way up here. Problem is, by the time it goes through, you'll hardly catch this other board. I've also seen people start one way down here. Problem is, you won't catch enough of the meat of this board. Also, the angle matters. I like to go steeper than 45 degrees, which will give the nail more of a chance to drive down instead of skip out. All right, here's a pretty big no-no for nail placement. Don't put two nails directly in line in the same piece of grain like this, where you can split the board just like that. All right, next we're gonna look at these. These are two and a half inch. You can see that. And these are shorter because we're only nailing half inch sheeting to this material. So only a half inch will be in the sheeting and then the other two inches will be into our framing material. I like to use these ones that are ring shanked. They hold a lot better. In fact, they'll usually rip through the sheeting before you can pull them out of the framing. I like to nail sheeting every eight inches with these nails on the regular studs. So that's about seven nails, including the top and bottom nail per line. And that's a lot, but I wanna make sure that this sheeting is not going anywhere ever. Okay, along the edges of the sheeting, I nail even closer, like every four or five inches in a situation like this where you're toe nailing the sheet into a stud. My dad used to call that stitching it up. Put so many nails, you know it's never gonna move. Let's get technical again in the code book. We're shooting on one half inch sheeting uh, using six or eights. You would shoot them on every six inches on the edges, every 12 inches in the intermediate supports. So we're going above and beyond that by a little bit, but I don't mind because it does make it stronger. All right, the reason I put so many nails into the sheeting is because it is the bracing for your house. The sheeting acts as continuous diagonal bracing, but it's only as good as it is fastened to your studs. So the gun I'm using right now is set up with a bump trigger. This orange trigger means danger. That means anytime the safety is depressed and this is pressed, it will fire a nail. So you don't have to squeeze the trigger every time. You just bump the safety. I'll show you. You 
comparison. Okay, this gun in comparison has this gray trigger on it. You'll notice it's not orange. That means for every time this safety is depressed, this gun will only fire one time, no matter how many times it's pulled the trigger. This is a lot safer, but a lot slower. So I actually prefer the red trigger, the orange trigger. Red is dead and it'll get it done quick. Nailed it. So for fun one day, I tried to figure out how many nails are in our average house, including finished nails and all that. And it came up to some crazy number, like 70,000 nails in one house. All right, nailing your plate down. I'm gonna nail there, 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 there. That way I hit this outside one and a half inch band. Uh, the joists are running this way, so I won't hit anything with this nail except the sheeting. But that's okay, shoot near the studs if you can, or hit the joists if you can. Don't nail out in the middle for no reason because your pipes and plumbing and wiring are gonna come through these areas and you don't want them drilling into your nails. They'll be really mad. Hey, thanks for watching our video today. I do wanna mention that we're not in a hurricane zone or a high wind zone in this job. In fact, we're in about a 90 mile an hour wind zone. So some of these fastening techniques will change as the wind zones get higher and higher, and you may have to include strapping or other means of holding your house down. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get our future videos. Peace. Shoot, shoot.